Well, you didn't smile. blow it. Yeah, I got it. No, no, no. no. It did not blow it out. <laughs> so all the gas came out of the top. It was he never was Jewish. Oh, well, a few of us lost eyebrows, didn't we? That's it. We were crawling through the boulder choke in boulder, boulder Chapel, and we were looking for the iron ladder was. And Jack says, oh, I think I'm stuck. <laughs> what do you mean? He said, well, this boulder's moved down. It's in the small on my back. I can't come backwards or forwards. Can you help me? And I climbed down and went underneath. I got my feet up against it, pushed it out of the way and climbed out from underneath it. But that's how close it was. Right. But that's how, how the camera <coughs> the building was. It is. Exactly so. Yeah, he couldn't have got out himself. No. Oh, oh, God, yes. we all have these wonderful times. Well, it wonderful is memories. like Richie when he dropped the um, last of the instant, summer wine, instant mashed potato. On <laughs> 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 the way out, we had to have a knife and fork and eat all the way out. What about what about Lee? 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 What about Walking down Kingsdale on a police car along and said, Do you know anything about the water turning green? We're all green. Fluorescent down to see where the case No. He said, Well, I feel you might have something to contribute to this. The other one. We went up to a rescue at um, Spectacle Prop. Oh, right. And um, we were leaking up. And we said, we said, just hang on a minute, we're putting a lan lantern trap across to the entrance. Oh, I know my way over these fields. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, and I'm not joking, oh. it was out on them fields for nearly two hours before he finally found his way back to where we were. He <laughs> was, <laughs> And the only reason he got back was he sort of said, Oh, the ladder to that ladder, head up like this, and he saw the light flashing in the sky, and he, he walked for it. Other than that, well, he was on the ground. Always. Oh, oh, I mean, what fantastic times we've had, man. We've had fantastic. <laughs> Oh, and we're still living to tell the tale, that's what the thing. Yeah. What about Sel Gill? We got, we got this ladder and it was made out of nylon rope. Oh yes, I remember that light. Nylon, stretchy I mean, rope, very stretchy. <laughs> we climbed down it like this and we got down to the bottom it went, wow! <laughs> <laughs> And you stood there, you like, couldn't get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like a last year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's nice know. to meet with sensible no, people. No, 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 we did jingling all the time. All the stuff out of our rock. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And we got back up to the top and we found one of the joints that was uncovered. It was one strand of flame. <laughs> one strand? <laughs> one strand left of it. Oh, a ladder could have gone. Do you know why? Because we'd used that old electron. I know. A string in it. Yeah. 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 String. Yeah. This yeah. sort of rocked it, hadn't it? So there was no. Oh, don't be after the sun. Now, after that, that was. I'm sorry, folks. But these are very old cavers reminiscing. Uh, yes. Memories might be a bit tough. No, they're not. They're perfect. Brian says they're perfect, but he's walked already, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> his, his name's George, but we don't let on. No, we don't. Sorry. We, we went in a cave in France with this Frenchman, and he said, "Oh, there's quite a few miles of passage." Anyway, we got going into this cave, and suddenly we realised. We didn't know how the hell we were going to go out. And it was only because we were wandering around that we managed to eventually to see some daylight coming in and we climbed up and out of it. We must have been under there for about five hours. And it's pretty fancy. And he was supposed to have taken us back to the floor. That was flawed. You can have selection. Of course, I was the sensible one. I never did anything like this. <laughs> Edit. Which he said was if we were in the wrong cave. He said, No, there isn't one here. And the guide said, There is a sword of Damocles. Oh, right, right. right. Oh, yes. Brian did say. Yes, had his own video. Yes, there is one in the There is one in Clapham as well. Yeah, why you don't listen? <laughs> in Ingleton she was Sharon. She was Molly up in Perth. Down in Preston she was Anne, the sweetest girl on earth. In Ingleton she was Lucy. She was the pick of the bunch, but down on his expenses form they were petrol oil and lunch. <laughs> That's political, is that? <laughs> <laughs> We're just absorbing the ambience. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! What? Well, the joke. The thing was that I had an operation on my hand. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Curling finger. Oh, yes. Oops. Oh, a Viking, Viking jeans, Viking jeans produce that. I had an operation and she said it's Viking disease. And it just so happens that I met Ken Dodd some time afterwards and I had a bandage round and this little comedian came up to me and says, uh, it was in Liverpool, you see. He said, what have you done to your hand like? I said, Viking disease. He said, oh, I thought you had a face like a nose. <laughs> I wouldn't guarantee you that. Hey, not when he shakes hands like this. <laughs> oh no, not the secret. Uh... Oh no, no, no. Not, not the I want an operation on my finger. My trouser legs just rolled up. <laughs> which, which one? Ah, hey. Yes. Sit there now, sit there. Yes. Oh, steady, oh, steady, oh, steady on the both. Steady the both. No, not the both. One or both? Only the one. Only the left one. hand down. The left hand, no. Yeah, yeah, just the left hand. Because yeah, sure. the other one's got you like that. Put them, put them right, Brian. Put them right. No, I'm, not, I can, I'm sworn to secrecy. Yeah, sworn to secrecy. say nothing. Oh, God, he's not one of them. Yeah. I'm saying nothing. No, he is one of them. Yes. You are one of them, aren't you, Brian? <laughs> no, I can hardly believe it. Now it's easy to done, prove it's easy it. done. Very easy. Here, have a, have a laugh before I pass out. <laughs> Would you like me to tell you a joke? Yes. Can, can it be a new I'm one? Awfully so. <laughs> can it be a new one? Did you hear that? My little partner on the left wanted a new joke. Right. So, you know, when, when, you, told me, when you told me you were going to be a comedian, I laughed my head off. They're not laughing now. <laughs> no, no, not. Not that joke. Hey, he's trying to pull one on me here. I say, my full name is John Friday Seaton. I was called Friday on the count of the fact. When I was born, my father took one look at me and said, let's call it a day. <laughs> And I knew I was going to be a comedian because he also said, Look at this, he said, it's got to be a joke. What do you do then? Liverpool City of Cups. Why do you keep pulling him back out again? <laughs> we, we, knew, we knew this fellow when he wrote funny. Liverpool City of Culture, it's lead free. The old churches are lead free. He said, I went to the doctor, he said, Oh, he said, uh, Listen here, John, he said, You're psycho ceramic. I said, What's that mean? He said, You're a crackpot. Ah, I'm not only that, I'm an alternative comedian, which means I'm funny every other day. I'm not just a comedian, I'm also a medium. At least that's what it says on the back of my underpants. Oh, should I come back tomorrow then? What do you say that could be into Liverpool? 
The Russian sailor came into Liverpool. No, I can't say that. Because one, no, 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 American oh, oh, sailor yeah. coming to Liverpool. Like, don't like Russian. And he goes into Pagash Lil's cafe and he says, Excuse me, ma'am, I'm very hungry. I would like to have one boiled sheep's head. And she said, Shout Susie, she's been doing the nails over the app, you know. He said, one boil she said like. He said, excuse me ma'am, I would like it done American style. She said, take the brains out. Sorry Grizzly, sorry ma'am. He said, two Americans watch flag layers in Liverpool. Laying the, spreading the sand, dropping the flag in, which is a pavement stone, and tapping it down with a mallet. And the American said, hey you guys, you know, that's really smart to do that, you know, it takes a real knack. And so the Liverpool flag layer says, yeah, it does like, what do you do like? He said, well, I'll tell you, I'm a manufacturer of computer parts, and we make computer parts for thousands of an inch. He said, oh, you'll be no good at this, you're going to be spot on at this. <laughs> <laughs> now, come on, tell us an English joke. <laughs> oh, he's being nasty now. Tell us an English joke. Tell us an Irish oh. joke. So, I was in the army and I was being lined up for a medical and I had no clothes on. And the MO came in front of me and they looked me up and down and they looked down at my little father and she said, You're not very well endowed, are you? I said, I thought we were only going to fight them. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'd be no good for the army because I suffer from nerves. He said, in what way do you suffer from nerves? I said, if somebody shouts at me, I jump. He said, paratroopers. <laughs> <laughs> and my mate, my, mate, my mate from Liverpool, he was the first one to get promoted. Within a month, he had a court martial. <laughs> so I go in this Indian restaurant. <laughs> we're, not, we're not getting it. I say, I want two pompadoms, two Bombay ducks and a vindaloo. And the waiter says, oh, shut back inside, spatting down the middle and highlights. I said, no, listen, listen, my friend, two pompadoms, two Bombay ducks and a vindaloo. No, 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 shut back inside, spatting down the middle and highlights. I said, what the heck is going on? So I said, get with the head waiter, head waiter, come on in. What is wrong, me, Bendy? What is wrong? I said, I've just had your waiter twice now for two pompadoms, two Bombay ducks and a vindaloo. And all I'm getting back is short back and sides, parting down the middle and highlights. What the heck's going on? Oh, he said, I'm very sorry. Very sorry. He's very new from India. He's only speaking Urdu. <laughs> so anyway. I shall severely edit this, this, you know. Hey? <laughs> and, uh, I thought it was yeah. funny. I make a living out of this. Oh, hey? God, I've got to work. Like the three brothers <laughs> got to... give up your day, John. No. The three brothers got to join the army. And the, the army sergeant says, what's your name? He says, McCoy. He says, occupation. He says, puff. Puff? What do you mean, puff? He says, yes, I work in the cigarette factory, checking the cigarettes for pack. Ooh. Oh, it's a fair enough. The next brother goes in. The name, he says, McCoy. He said, occupation, he says, puff. Oh, he said, cigarette factory, like the brother. No, 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 candle factory, checking the wicks. Third brother goes in. He said, Occup name, he says, uh, McCoy. Occupation, says, puff. Oh, he says, candles or cigarettes. Neither, he says, I'm the real McCoy. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, <laughs> 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 It's the way I tell them. That's the way I tell them. <laughs> so, so, so anyway, this burglar breaks into the vicarage. Going across the library in the vicarage, it's a Sunday and he knows the vicarage otherwise engaged. And here's this little voice saying, Jesus is watching you. He stops. And nothing happens. So I think so. I'll just go a little bit further. And here's the boy. Jesus is watching the burglar. Hang on. So he gets his torch out. And in the corner, there's a big grey Am Amazon parrot. Oh, he said, Thank God. He said, You're only a parrot. He said, Yes, but Jesus is a Rottweiler. <laughs> and so the vicar's in the pulpit. <laughs> He said, let him stand who has committed sin without shame. So I stood up and said, have you committed sin without shame? I said, no, but I'd like to see you standing there by yourself. <laughs> Actually, the vicar was a psychopath. He used to ride his bicycle on the pavement. <laughs> Clever. Uh,
Let me get my wallet out, John. Now, we've seen the twenty pound note come with it, but he is without, so I put it back in. He is without, to be within, though. Yes, been to Bulgaria too many times. Oh, we all we all want to be within. He needs to be without. Oh. You want, to, you want another bottle of this crap? No, 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 no. no. We're, we're going home, we've got something quietly lined up. Oh! We, have, have they promised to be quiet? Yes, well, once we get rid of him... Oh, me. I, look I think they're pointing at me. <laughs> I'm middle class. I look down to both of them. Oh, yes. well, you would. I'm up and going. We've heard about me. You are. You look up to him. Yeah. 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 And I sit when I'm told to. Yeah, go on. A young man was arrested running up and down outside the houses of Parliament, shouting, the government of Army, the government of Army. And in court the following day, he got fined £20 for being drunk and disorderly and sent to jail for five years for revealing the state secret. <laughs> <laughs> so Churchill was walking through the House of Lords and he comes face to face with Lady Asquith. She said, Sir, you are sober. He said, Madam, you are ugly. I will be sober in the morning. She said, Sir, I will have you no know, beauty runs in my family. She said, Madam, it must have galloped past you. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, God. Hey, but remember your viewers are Stone Cold Sober. Hold on, Lemoire. See my French coming out? Hold on, Lemoire. Oh, who a large Le Grand? Le Grand. Le Grand. Le Grand. Le Grand. Le Grand. I'm speaking the foreign language now. Yeah. I went to Germany. Where are you then? Have you been to Germany before? I said, be be only at night. <laughs> no, no, you mustn't say that. <laughs> I tell you, you mustn't say that. The audience is too young to get that one, you know. Is that right? I think that's why they bombed Pete's Chippy. Yes. <laughs> we told them on the face. Uh, what can I say? Yeah. What can I say? Young jokes. What can you do with young jokes? I'm thinking now. I'm thinking rapidly. I'm going down a page of jokes I've never had. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't grown up yet. <laughs> so, anyway, I was on this cruise and I went to Venice. And I went round Venice and I was on a, a little uh, water taxi with two old ladies from who've been round Venice. And I said, Did you enjoy Venice, ladies? He said, We well, have. And one of them said, I've just had a lovely hour on the gondolier. A friend said, No, no, Elsie, not gondolier, you mean gondola. Gondolier is the fella. And she said, Oh, I've got me wishful thinking. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm going on the folks. Wish me luck. Get you wave me goodbye. <laughs> Cheerio. As we go. Oh, my. Ah. Ah. I knew it was more. around. Here's a Benny Hill one. It was around last November, as I seem to remember, that I staggered down the street in drunken pride. My legs went all oh, flat. Uh, and I fell down in a gutter, and a pig walked up and lay down by my side. Yes, I lay there in the gutter, thinking thoughts I couldn't utter. And a lady passing by did stop me, saying, You can tell a man that boozes by the company he chooses, and the pig got up and slowly walked away. Ah! <laughs> Roses are red, violets are bluish. If it wasn't for Christmas, we'd all be Jewish. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
about the, the man driving his car dead at night many years ago and his headlights pick up the light the eyes of the cat in front of him. It gives him the idea for the cat's eyes. Brilliant. Yes. It was in Wales. It really makes you think if the cat had walked the other way would have invented the pencil sharp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said, hey, uh, he said I, had, I had an asthma attack the other night. He said I got attacked by three asthmatics. You would have thought I'd heard them coming. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Here's the joke now. Look, that's the bill. But I missed the latte up, so that's it. Oh, he missed the latte up. I should think so, too. <laughs> Nearly did. <laughs> They're not laughing now. <laughs> oh, it's 40. That's all right. That's all I'm enjoying myself enormously. I'm going to pay substantial amounts of lira for this. On account of the ink. I'm, I'm cutting, I'm cutting. Do you want to... Do you want to say a last word before this, I this cut? Is something that the black rose never see. Right? The black. Mm. 50 pound, no. Oh. I'm just going to go to bed now. I'll make me some time. <laughs> <laughs> Wish me luck. Just Goodbye.